Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hello everyone, looking at Tesla on the daily and weekly time frame. So four days of consolidation to the downside, and I just did an Amazon video, and it looked very similar in terms of the four days of consolidation. The difference between Amazon and Tesla is that Tesla has decreasing volume, which is exactly what the bulls want to see on this consolidation, whereas Amazon had an increase in volume on Friday compared to Thursday, which is a bit more of a red flag. But at this point, Tesla could still be just a bull flag of consolidation after a very strong move. Parallel support and resistance lines on this little pullback, and then we get continuation to the upside is the definition of that pattern. We're still holding 220 psychological support, and we've got the 200-day, the 50-day, the middle Bollinger Band, lots of moving average support on the daily time frame, and I would be looking for bullish continuation. Just want to be aware of the weekly time frame because that is a very bearish reversal. Gravestone Doji rejecting from 50-week, 20-week, and 100-week moving average resistances. So we can see all the daily moving averages, or most of them, are in the two upper teens. So there's still support, and all of the weekly resistances are in the 220s, so they are resistance. So that makes it a little bit more tricky. If all these weekly resistances weren't here, we would be looking for bullish entry into Tesla. If we do make a bullish entry into Tesla based on the daily time frame, we just need to be aware of the weakness on the weekly, the lower high pattern still intact. And if we see a red week this week, we will confirm that bearish reversal and be pulling back to the downside. So it is tricky here, not a clear setup, but definitely watching for the shorter term time frame, the daily chart. If we get a bullish reversal candlestick off of some of these key levels, we will be looking for a move back to the mid 220s. So definitely worth scouting and keeping an eye on this volume. That's going to be very key as well. Like I said, nice decreasing volume for the bulls. And we will keep watching Tesla comparing these two time frames to see what next week brings. I appreciate you tuning in. Have a great weekend.